Hello, Kipsters. Today's health and wellness topic is on hand washing. And the reason why we're starting with hand washing is because this is one of the most important topics, especially right now with, with what's going on in our world today. Okay, so our objective today is that I will be able to say all the steps to washing my hands correctly. Okay, so I want you to follow with me and I want you to say this to yourself. I will be able to say the steps to washing my hands correctly. Okay, now I want you to say it on your own. I'm going to give you like 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, hopefully you're able to follow along. Again, I will be able to say the steps to washing my hands correctly. I'm also gonna do a demonstration here in a couple of minutes in my own kitchen um, and show you the process on how we're gonna do that. Okay, so the first thing I want you to think about, okay, think about the last time that you washed your hands. Think about it, was it today? Was it 10 minutes ago? Was it yesterday? Think about that time. Now, I know the last time I washed my hands was about 20 minutes ago because I was about ready to eat and have my dinner. So I washed my hands just before I ate. Okay, and we're gonna talk about why it's important about doing that before you eat in a few minutes. Okay, so number one, our step to starting to wash our hands correctly. First, you wanna get warm water in the, in the sink, okay? Turn the faucet on, get it warm. Don't get it so hot that it burns your hands and you don't want it cold either because that's not gonna help to get, get the germs and everything off. So you're gonna put some warm water on, okay? And you're gonna put your hands underneath that faucet and you're gonna get them wet, okay? Get them wet. Once you have them wet, then you're just gonna put some soap. Whether you have a pump to put that soap in, whether you have a bottle to put it on, whether you have a soap bar that you can rub it on, get some soap in your hands. Okay, the next step is the fun part. This is where you get to show off your musical talent. You can sing, you can just talk, or you can hum it in your head, or you can just say it in your head. It's your choice how you do it. But you're gonna either sing happy birthday, or you're gonna say the ABCs if you know them. Which, for all of you, I know you know them. Okay, if you wanna carry a musical tune, little beat, little head bob with it, go right ahead. Okay, me, I'm a simple guy. I'm probably just gonna sing very basic. The time that it takes you to sing either happy birthday or say your ABCs is the exact or about the exact amount of time that it takes for you to properly wash your hands. Okay, anything less than that, you probably didn't do a very good job of washing your hands. Anything longer, hmm, you might be just overdoing it a little bit. Okay, so once you have done that, then you're going to rinse those hands off under the warm water and then you're going to get your dry towel and clean and dry your hands off and then throw the towel away. Okay, I'm going to take you over to my kitchen sink and I'm going to show you the steps that we just talked about. Hopefully, you'll be able to follow along. So step one, remember, and I'm going to turn my camera up so y'all can see me. There we go. Big smile. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my sink on. I'm doing it in my kitchen sink. Don't mind my dishes, I just had dinner. Still gotta do my dishes a little bit later on. And I'm just gonna carefully touch that water, make sure it's just warm, warm enough, not burning hot, and it's just about right. Right about there. Okay, so the first step, get some water on those hands. Okay, just get a nice little coating of water on them. Okay, that helps the, the soap suds to start to bubble up and kind of make some really good cleaning technique. Put my soap in my hand, okay? And now, this is where you get to have some fun. And I'm just gonna kinda sing the ABCs in my head. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And as I'm doing that, I'm scrubbing my hands. I'm going all the way down into my wrist, down here, both hands. I'm going into my palms here, okay? H, I, J, K, L, O, N, L, P. And I'm going in between my fingers as I'm doing this and get my nails kind of twisted in, kind of scratching my hands, try to get underneath those nails. See the soap? See all that soap on my hand? That's what we want to see. I forgot what letter I'm at. Q-R-S-T-U-V. 
W, X, Y, and Z. Now, that's about 30 seconds. That's a pretty good amount of time. Now it's time to rinse off those hands. Okay, going to put them both under there. Just let them come off. And now my favorite thing to do is nudge the back of your hand on the faucet, turn it off. And I like to let my hands kind of drain, kind of like when you put dishes away, hopefully you help put dishes away. I like to let them drain a little bit so that we don't make a mess on the floor, slip and fall, let them drain. Then I'm just gonna reach for my towel, which was right next to me. You can use a paper towel. A dry towel is obviously what you want because if it's wet, then your hands are not gonna dry. You're gonna use that dry, clean towel that I had set aside. I go in between my fingers, get everything off, get off onto my wrists here. And then when I'm done, I should have sparkling clean, well-smelling hands underneath my fingernails. They're nice and clean, okay? And my hands are ready for many things, okay? I hope that helps. I hope you're practicing this. Now let's go back into the classroom. As we get back into the classroom, one of the most important things to remember is why is it important to do this? The reason why it is so important to do this is because we don't want to get those nasty germs that we're touching things all day with, with our hands, into our body. And when we leave them on our hands and don't wash our hands, we put them on the mouth, we put them into our mouth, we touch our nose, they get into our nose, we can touch our eyes. That stuff gets into our body and makes us sick. And especially right now with this virus that is going around in our country and around the state and in the city, we have to be really, really careful and be washing our hands even more than we do on a regular basis. Now, think of a couple of ways or times when you should probably think about washing your hands. Okay? Think about it. When do you think it's a good time to do so. Give you about 10 seconds to kind of think about that. Okay, hopefully you got one in your head. Okay, two really, really important ones. Okay, when should you wash your hands? Well, I mentioned one of them earlier. Right before you eat food, Remember, a lot of times we're using our hands to eat food, whether it's something we use our hands exactly with, whether we have a fork, a knife, or a spoon. We need to wash our hands before we eat, especially if we're preparing food, or we're getting ready, or we're cooking, or chopping up stuff on the cutting board, if we're putting a salad together. If we put our nasty, dirty hands with all that dirt and grime into that salad, then when we eat that salad, it goes right into our bodies, and then either our body's gonna fight that off and we'll be okay, or in a lot of cases, it doesn't fight it off and then we get sick. And we don't wanna get sick, okay? We wanna stay healthy and we wanna stay, stay safe. So we have to wash our hands if we're preparing food. And even when we're throughout preparing food, if we're dealing with certain meats and chicken and stuff like that, raw stuff, you wanna be washing your hands even more throughout that process to keep yourself and others safe, okay? What's another one? Here's another one, your bathroom. When you go to the bathroom, after you go to the bathroom, you need to wash your hands, especially anytime you go to the bathroom, okay? Because you're handling toilet paper, you need to make sure that you are washing your hands after you go to the bathroom. And make sure you're using soap and water, make sure you're drying off. Don't do the quick turn it on, just put a little water and let it go, okay? There, you can get a lot of bacteria and stuff after you go to the bathroom, you want to make sure you're very, 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 very careful about that. So make sure you're washing your hands after you go to the bathroom so that you're not picking up germs and bacteria in the bathroom when, after you go to the bathroom and putting that back into your body and potentially making yourself sick, okay? So two important things and two important times when you really need to wash those hands. When you're preparing food, eating food, going to the bathroom, after you go to the bathroom, Okay? And quite honestly, anytime right now that you touch anything like uh, doorknobs and you're touching other things of other people's and stuff, it's a good habit to just go over to the sink quick, wash your hands, 
do your ABCs, sing happy birthday, get them washed off, keep them clean so that if you accidentally rub your eye, okay, touch your nose, put your fingers in your mouth, whatever, you have a less of a chance of getting sick from bacteria and viruses that are all over that we can't see because they're really tiny and they can be spread through many different ways. Okay, so make sure we keep our hands clean. I don't want to see anybody sick throughout the year. Now, if you would like to, if you have questions, you can always, always shoot me a message on the classroom webpage. I will answer it as much as I can. Hopefully you will learn something from this video. Hopefully you're practicing healthy and safe hand washing techniques all the time. When we get back to school, make sure you're doing it then, after, before you go to lunch, after even you come out and come back from recess, you have dirt in your fingers and hands from playing, wash your hands, get that dirt off. Okay, and even you know, hand sanitizer helps as well, depending on how much alcohol content that's in it, can kind of kill some of those germs, but constantly wash those hands. And you don't have to do it every 10 seconds, you know, every five seconds, but periodically, you know, over the course of the day, right now, I would say I'm probably washing my hands at least 15 to 20 times a day. That's almost once per hour, okay? So I challenge you to try to wash your hands at least once an hour. So every 60 minutes, that hand goes around the clock, you should be washing your hands to make sure that you're keeping bacteria and germs off your hands and kind of keep the spread of the bacteria and viruses out there from getting into your body and making you sick. All right, that's our lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, put them in the message, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. See you next time.